For anyone new to LoopCloud, this award-winning platform is the perfect solution to a producer's sampling needs, consolidating your entire sample collection in a single location, which allows seamless browsing, whether samples are local or in the cloud, as well as comprehensive editing functions, all serving to minimize hard drive usage and accelerate your workflow to unprecedented levels. And with samples from the Loopmasters collection fully integrated with search results, if you're not finding the right sound in your own library, the store makes sure you can always find the sample you're looking for. In this movie, I'm going to start building a track with LoopCloud and Ableton Live to show you how insanely quick and easy LoopCloud makes it to work with your sample collection and start creating your own quality music. Jumping right in, with the LoopCloud app up and running, I'll add the LoopCloud plugin to a MIDI track in Live. This makes LoopCloud connect to Live, so sample previewing is then locked to your project tempo. So I can then choose Kick as the instrument, search for loops, and then match tempo in the key and BPM section to check out any kick loops close to my project tempo in my library. And I can randomize the results to mix up which sample packs I'm looking in. And remember, all of these samples are playing from the cloud, not my hard drive. But once I've found the one I want, I can just drag it straight out into Live, at which point it downloads from the cloud to my hard drive. So I only download samples I'm using in the track. Now I'll get rid of Kick from the search and change it to Synth Bass. And as LoopCloud previews through the plugin's track in live, I can add a sidechain compressor being fed from my kick track to add some ducking to the bass so it's pumping with the drums. And if I wanted to limit the search to a specific genre, I could choose one from the genre tab at the top or just by clicking on one in the results area. And I'll drag that bass in now too. Now I've got a key to work with, I've got a few options. I can either select that key by clicking on the keyboard so it only searches for samples tagged with that key, and then I can choose whatever instrument I want to search for. My computer's arrow keys can also be used to step through samples. Or I can lose the key tag and work with the pitch controls in the player, where you've got a transpose dial for re-pitching samples. Rather than do it myself though, I can just turn on auto and then choose my key below to have it re-pitch samples automatically to get them in key. So to go with this one now, I just click download, then choose the processed option instead of original, so it drags out the sample with LoopCloud's alterations applied. In addition to timing and pitch adjustments though, the player allows extensive editing now too, where I can chop this loop into segments, get rid of bits I don't want, change the loop bracket to a bar long, then zoom in. Then, using the different tools, I can scrub through the sample, chop up the sample some more, reverse some slices, Drag the top edge to change the level of slices and the top corners to create fades in or out. And even transpose slices up or down. And when I'm happy with it, again, drag in the processed version to download the edited sample to my computer and import it directly into Live. 
clearing the search now with the home button. I'll choose a shaker as the instrument this time. And then search for one shots. And in the player, I'll turn off auto key now and go to the pattern section and choose one of the shaker patterns in there. Then try out some different samples with the pattern. So you've got all sorts of interesting rhythms in addition to the standard kick and snare ones. Then again, dragging out the processed option downloads the one shot sequenced into that pattern straight into my door. And if I want to jam with melodic one shots, then the Loop Cloud plugin's new keyboard feature allows me to try out different melodic phrases. And thanks to Live's Capture MIDI feature, if I stumbled across a good phrase there whilst jamming, I can always recapture it and then add that to a MIDI track with Simperon and then drag the sample out of Loop Cloud into that to recreate the jam. Whilst Live makes sure you never lose any MIDI notes, Loop Cloud is just as vigilant with your sample browsing, with a show history option in the menu revealing every search made and sample played, so no sample is ever lost. And with this synth one shot now, I'll create a pattern of my own by first choosing the one bar pattern preset to set the length, but then deleting it and drawing in slices of my own. And if it's sounding a bit dry, I can click FX Edit and then the plus button to choose from a range of different devices for processing samples. And these can even be automated in the editor. After which, dragging out the processed version exports samples with any effect settings applied to. So Loop Cloud has seriously revolutionized the way you can work with your sample collection. And there's loads more the software can do, including, of course, multi-track functionality, whereby you can layer up to eight different samples together, making use of all the pattern sequencing and editing to create complete grooves within Loop Cloud itself. I'll cover multi-tracking, as well as several other areas of the software, more fully in separate movies. So check out those for more detailed information on just how much Loop Cloud can do.